welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to try a different makeup technique and I wanted to do a full video on this because I found it so interesting and I've never tried it before and I feel like it's so against everything we've like been taught wearing makeup that I just wanted to try it out and see how it worked out for me and my oily skin and the texture and all of that. We're going to test it out today and that is putting powder before your foundation. I know. I was pretty shook too. So don't forget to subscribe but before you leave. I'm going to go ahead and get started with showing you guys this. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there's any other weird technique I should try in the comments below. If you want to see if this technique works, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the person, sorry I have glitter on my face too. I did like this eye look before I started filming. And I took it all off because I didn't like it. And now I have glitter all over my face because of the Stila glitters. So The first start of this video is last night I was actually watching Jackie Ina's new foundation routine and she put on powder before foundation and I was like hmm if you don't know who Jackie Ina is I'm obsessed with her she has such a great channel her personality is just top notch she's hilarious so I will leave her video down below so you guys can check it out so after I saw hers I went into the YouTube search bar and I searched powder before foundation and then Wayne Goss's video came up so I watched his his skin looked really good as well so I'll leave that down below if you want to check it out after those two videos I was like I gotta try this out I've never tried it before we've always been taught to put liquid foundation liquid products before powder so I found this super interesting and yeah let me know if you've tried it before in the comments but we're gonna start out and I'm gonna do what I normally do and use my regular primers by the way don't judge myself Tanner I'm fixing it tonight okay and I'm washing my hair Smashbox primer water and then the Kane and Austin one they say to prime first and then put powder on and then your foundation so that's how we're gonna do it today I'm just going to go ahead and spray this all over also if you don't follow me on any of my social media accounts I announced my first meetup which is going to be in Chicago. I'll have all the info down below. I am so excited to have my first meetup for my Smashbox palettes. I'm just so excited to go to Chicago. I'm so excited to meet you guys. I've never been there before. I'm excited to eat everything that I see like all the pizza, the hot dogs, all of it. I hope to see you guys there. Like I said I'll have all the information down below so you guys can check it out. I hope to meet you. Ah, I'm so excited. So yeah I just wanted to announce that. If you didn't follow me on my social I figured I would uh keep you updated. I'm going to go ahead and applying my Canon Austin Mattifying Primer. This is great at kind of evening out the skin and filling in your pores. Now with this powder technique, it is supposed to give you more coverage without having to use as much foundation. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to be able to use less foundation when you set the primer with the powder and then put your foundation on top. They recommend to use a loose translucent powder so that's what I'm going to use today. I'm actually trying this new one from Cover FX and it is the perfect setting powder. I've heard so many great things about this so I figured what the hell. Might as well put it on right. This looks like this and I'm going to just set my face with this. Oh I love that. Oh I, okay that's awesome. It has like a little lid that flips up and then you could get the product out. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to apply my powder with a brush, which is how I saw Wayne do it. He said that this applies a little bit more coverage. Um, so we're going to see. As you guys know, I have rosacea, really sensitive skin, a lot of texture, girl. A lot of texture. And pores. You got to love it, huh? I want to say, if this doesn't go how I planned, like if I don't like it, it is not against these other two YouTubers at all. Sometimes things just don't work out for other people, you know what I mean? But it's always fun to try new things out. I would say it's a little bit of coverage. It mattified more than anything. You can obviously still see my redness peeking through. And my redness, like my rosacea is kind of a little bit flared up right now. I don't know what's doing that. Probably because it just got really cold. That's probably what's doing it. I think that the cold is what flares up my rosacea. And if that's the case, when I move to Fort Drum, I'm going to be a tomato. So I'm going to be using the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. And I'm going to use it with a brush. I'm going to be using it with this Pure Cosmetics Powder Foundation Brush, which I like to use for foundation. Um, this foundation might be a little dark, but we're going to work with it, okay, guys? So I actually just put in a little bit of a lighter foundation in there because it was looking, like, extremely dark. I'm going to apply this on my face. Then we're going to blend it out with a brush. That was a lot. Why does it look green on camera? That's so weird. So I'm just going to blend this out. Now I know Jackie likes to pretty much like stipple it in. Okay, I need to wipe some of this foundation off. That was too much. I know Jackie likes to stipple hers in, so I'm just going to do the same thing as her. I think when you think of powder before foundation, I don't know about you guys, but I think of like the awful setting powders that look so 
cakey and just like intense. I kind of feel like the translucent powder helps fill in the pores even a little bit more. Um, I feel like my forehead's drying a little too quickly for me. Look at this! Looks like I have mittens on. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I've been busy. I haven't had time to self tan or exfoliate my life away. I actually think it looks really good like on my cheeks and everything. I think my forehead is a little dry. Um, believe it or not, it doesn't look like it, but I believe it's a little dry. And a little bit cakey just right in here between my eyebrows. Um, my nose wasn't covered up as well, probably because I used a brush and not a sponge. So I'm just going to go in really quickly with the sponge and just try to cover it up a little bit more. So that's what that looks like with powder on. What do you guys think? Do you see a difference? Let me know. I think I still look really dewy, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'm definitely going to set after this. So I'm going to be a little extra today and mix the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Light Neutral and the Tarte Concealer in Light Medium. That is foundation and concealer done. I think my pores actually kind of look a little bit smaller, like right in this area. And I haven't even said it yet. And usually baking is like the sealing pore perfecter type of thing for me. I really like it. Um, normally it just makes me look really extra flawless. I think my skin looks actually really nice right now. So I'm going to take the same Cover FX powder and I'm going to bake with this. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to finish the rest of my face makeup. Come back and let you guys know what I think and if I think you should try it out or not. So stay tuned. I will be right back. Okay, guys. So the rest of my face makeup is on. I have to say I'm feeling really pretty today. Something about no eyeshadow, a wing liner, and lashes just like makes my life. And my pearl palette is just popping right now. And my lip color is the Matte LA Girl Flat Finish Pigmented, Pigmented Gloss in the shade Dreamy. So that's what I have on my lips right now. I really like the technique of the powder, setting the primer, and then putting foundation on top. I feel like my pores look so smooth. My skin just looks really, I don't know, everything looks really smooth right now. After I dusted away the baking, it was like great. This is what my skin looks like up close. Like I've told you guys before, I don't have any diffusers or anything. So I will say that I don't think I would use this technique every single day, but definitely for going out or something like for tomorrow, I think it looks great. I really do. I think it just adds a little something extra to the foundation and to the rest of the face makeup. Everything glided on really well and supposedly it's supposed to stay on for a lot longer, which I will let you guys know in the description box if it lasted a little bit better throughout the day. But honestly, I don't wear foundations that don't last well throughout the day. So I love it. I think my makeup looks really good right now. I'm really happy with it. So now I just have to do my hair and we'll be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Would you try this out? If you have, what do you think about it? Um, I think for textured skin and pores, I think it's actually a really great technique if you want to smooth things out just a little bit more and to really lock that primer into place. Since my primer does smooth over my skin really nicely and fill in my pores, I think putting the powder on top of that and setting it into place is kind of what helps with the smooth look of my skin and my pores looking really nice and smooth. So. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.